I recently bought an LG C2. I really love it, but sometimes when I game on it, I fear HUD burning, especially if it's if it's an extended session. For example, when I was playing Jedi Survivor on Xbox, as the PC version is broken, <laughs> I kept the HUD off the whole time. For Starfield, I am reducing HUD opacity. I also have concerns about keeping RTSS running in the corner. What are some suggestions on preventing OLED burning while gaming? Um, I I don't really take any uh sort of mitigating uh sort of things at all i just just game and get on with it and everything seems to be fine i don't know what you think john uh i've been very specifically putting one of these through an an intense test you guys use them as a monitor as well right we're all using yeah. OLEDs as monitors right using it from yeah uh, i have taken zero precautions like I am using the full bright colored desktop. I'm using the light mode for the windows. I've got the taskbar yeah. and the icons on all the time. Uh, I'm actually kind of just doing it more just to see if anything happens. But now months later, uh, even if I do a full screen, like gray image and different levels of gray, there is absolutely zero evidence of any sort of like image retention right now. Will that change mm. over time? Possibly. But we'll see. I will isn't actually Artings, keep people up to date. Isn't Artings doing these like extended they mega are, burn in? They are doing it extremely mega burn in, like just keeping images on for a very long time, all the time. So I do suggest keeping up with them to see what's going on there because yeah, it's they actually, so extreme they, though. Like it's not even use case at that point, right? No, exactly. Like, it's it's so not extreme. normal use case, and that's interesting because it's sort of pushing them to the limits. What, mm. what I find interesting about their results, though, is that they're also, like, causing some LCDs to fail in weird ways. <laughs> and the panel's having other issues with, the, with that. So, like, you know, wow. it's uh, it's an interesting test to watch. They they post photographs uh, in sort of a sequential order that you can access through their database and sort of determine, like, how things change. What I did take away from their findings that was interesting is that LG's more recent OLEDs seem to fare better in this regard than the... The QD OLEDs, QD oh, wow. OLEDs seem to show more retention versus the the recent LG ones in the same time period basically showed like nothing or like <laughs> next to nothing in their slides. But you could actually see a little bit more on the QD OLEDs. So is this uh, all subpixel stuff, you think, like certain colors burning out? Quicker? It's possible um, because, I mean, the way LG's works is they use like color filters, right? With like a white yeah. OLED element. And I think QD OLED is different from that. So it's can provide Maybe. like a more intense color saturation apparently um i don't know something to look at their data is there it's really interesting and really good so i recommend mm -hmm. that yeah i mean i haven't had any issues i mean i'm now on uh i'll be coming up to three years shortly that's I true this L lgc 10 uh in december 2020 it's as good as the day i bought it yeah, I'm using it as a monitor. And um, initially, yeah, I had a dark desktop and I had the taskbar sort of disappear out of view when it's not being used. The kind of sort of um, techniques that many people recommend for good OLED health. But since I've moved on to Windows 11, just haven't really bothered doing any of that. <laughs> still got a brighter background, still got the taskbar. You know, it's it's performing as I'd expect. And uh, in terms of the, the burning stuff, I'm assuming leftist hominid sleeps at some point. So, you know, <laughs> as long as the TV is turned off and not left on with persistent content uh, to sort of engineer an arting style stress test scenario, I think it's probably be fine with it. Yeah. Just, just, I, just yep, my yep. thoughts. What's interesting is uh, I also have an LG C10 in the background there. The 65 inch one is my gaming TV. And then right now I'm using actually the C2 here on my desk. And so the C10, my C10 is fine, no burn in, no issues there. But I do know, like, sometimes you have like a specific type of UI, like the Xbox menu or the Switch menu, and you go to a gray screen, you can actually see like a ghost image for a short period of time, which is just like the super temporary image retention. The C2 doesn't even do that at all with those, okay. with those same scenarios. So it does seem like they are continuing to improve their uh, tech in that regard. So I feel mm -hmm. fairly confident in saying that. OLED's in a pretty good place now. Like, I think yeah. you can probably still torture test it enough to cause problems. But, like, I would say we're in the realm of, like, CRT, maybe. Like, a CRT monitor, right? You could burn those in yeah, as well. Yeah, they had burning, yeah. <laughs> they could, absolutely. But, like, that's what we use as PC monitors for decades. And 
it's largely not a problem. That only really became a problem if you had like a CRT monitor that showed the same thing every day, all the time, and it never showed anything else. Eventually it would burn in. And okay. I feel like we're kind of in a similar place with OLED right now, but I will mm -hmm. keep everybody up to date on my own findings since I do regularly check uh, the purity of the image against different <laughs> color slides, just to kind of for science, if you will, okay. we'll find out <laughs> for science. <laughs> It's good. <laughs>